Do you hate your job? Do you suffer from burnout? And do you want to do something far more creative and fun? Or is there that voice inside your head that is playing with your emotions and filling your head with fear of the unknown? In today's video, we're going to explore that little voice to see whether it's your conscience protecting you or whether it's just a little sprite playing with your emotions and talking you out of that retirement dream. So, are you emotionally ready to retire? Let's find out. Okay. Uh, when you need a small other than when bicycle, when you, uh, you need a bicycle, you pay more. Okay. Welcome to Tweekal Botanical Gardens in northern Thailand, about 10 to 15 miles northeast of Chiang Mai. I wanted to come here for two reasons. First reason is it reminds me of homes. It reminds you of home? No. <laughs> Far too many palm trees. Yeah, but my parents were both born and brought up in London. And in London, there's a certain way of talking, really. And the minute I saw okay. Tweekal Botanical <laughs> Gardens, Tweekle in London, <laughs> that's a term of endearment. You could say, oh, I tweekle. <laughs> tweekle for treacle. So the minute I saw it, I went, oi, Sarah. <laughs> Who did? Sarah, do you want to go to Tweekle Botan Botanical Gardens? <laughs> hey, come on, Tweekle, let's get down there. So, and you've been saying it ever since. Yeah, so we're at Tweekle <laughs> Botanical Gardens today. <laughs> Second reason is it's absolutely gorgeous. So we wanted to show you around and the fun thing is, Sarah's talking about sprites taking away your retirement dream. Well, we're here on a Thursday and it feels like we've got the place to ourselves because yeah. everyone else, they're at work. Well, we're out here enjoying <laughs> our retirement. So what is that little voice saying exactly? Is it spreading fear? Saying things like... Yeah. Who do you think you are to retire? Yeah, you'll, you'll get bored. Ooh, you'll spend your days watching daytime TV. You miss all your friends. And oh, oh, you haven't got enough money to retire anyway. Oh, why do you spend all that time with Neil? He's an idiot. Ah. That little sprite's gone a little bit too far there. I had to cut that. Do apologise. But he's trying to steal your retirement dreams, isn't he? Certainly when he's talking about the financial side, and if you've been watching our videos recently, you'll know that as long as you have structure to what you're doing, you've got all of that side of things cleared off. You know what to do. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll link at the end of this video to a playlist of everything to do with finance in retirement, either planning for it or once you've retired. You know, retirement is a lot more than just financial planning. And if you're able to answer this question in your own mind without stuttering, then I would say you're in good shape already. That question, you know what you're retiring from, but do you know what you're retiring to? We've got a pretty sobering statistic for you. Shell Oil Company conducted a study of their employees to assess whether early retirement was associated with better survival in retirement. And to do that, they compared their employees that retired at the age 55, 60 and 65. Our assumption on this was that the earlier you retire, probably the better survival rate you've got because you've got time to build a really positive and structured retirement for yourself. But the reality was actually very different. And that is that people that retired at the age of 55 had a significantly higher chance of dying in the next 10 years than those that retired at 65. Now there's lots of extrapolations you can take from this. One of them would be maybe people retired earlier at 55 because they were in poor health hence why their survival rate for the next 10 years was so poor. Another assumption, one that I've come up with, is that maybe people who worked at Shell Oil just hated their jobs and just did anything they could to get out as soon as they could. They thought about what they were retiring from and gave no thought to what they're retiring to. We had a plan to retire many, many years ago and as you know, we live an intentional life and planning for that dream took a lot of mental thought throughout the years leading up to it. 
we built a life plan alongside our financial plan. Many people just focus on the numbers, but you've got to get emotional. Think about what brings you that joy and purpose to your life. Maybe if you had a job and you enjoyed it, think about what that brought to you. Yeah, and, and could you get the same sort of joy that that job gave you in retirement? Now, our planning leading up to our retirement was fun and we spent years researching, looking at options and finding what was right for us. Now, what is our retirement isn't your retirement and we're not suggesting to you what you want to do in your retirement is travel the world for 10 years. We wouldn't suggest that to anyone. It's a particularly <laughs> crazy thing crazy. to do. But for us, we're loving it. And because we're being intentional and we spent those years researching, that means we've had very few surprises along the way after our first year of travels. We've had challenges mm. such as our medical issues, but no great surprises. So alongside your retirement plan, we're asking you to go deep and think long and hard about your retirement activity plan. Now, hopefully you would have noticed that the videos over the last few weeks have operated as a bit of a jigsaw puzzle, fitting together, looking at the financial side of retirement. Well, this jigsaw piece is the bit that talks to you about your retirement activity plan. And that goes for you too. If you've already retired, it's time to re-energize and launch into the next phase of your retirement. If you have a significant other, then this is something that you should be discussing regularly together because you're two very different people with different needs and wants. So you've got to make sure that you're covering for both of you. Why not sketch it on a piece of paper to look something like this? Then start to fill in the boxes, refine and improve regularly. Here are some examples of the things you could consider doing. Build your healthy lifestyle to last for your retirement. Start a side hustle for fun. Build and deplete a bucket list of all those things you want to do. Some other examples you can see on the sheet on screen. So if you like the look of these, hit the pause button, grab a pen and make a note of them. When the time's right, retirement's upon you. It's time to put that retirement activity plan into action. And you know what? You won't have time to be part of the Shell Oil statistics. You've got too much living to do. We hope that we're energising you to rethink your retirement plan. And again, we don't care where you are on the journey, whether you're still on your journey or whether you're already there, but it's time to refresh, look at that next phase, because you've got to take it seriously. This isn't a dress rehearsal. A lot of people over the last few months have asked us to put together a detailed video outlining exactly what we did on our retirement journey. That is how we saved, what we invested in specifically, and then as we hit retirement, how we put together our retirement activity plan and how we are spending down our retirement funds, what our actual strategy is. We're working hard on that video. It's gonna be a long <laughs> one. It's a detailed one for you detailed people out there. And when it's ready, that will be available for you to watch next here. In the meantime, I said earlier that we're going to put together a playlist at the end of this video, outlining all of those financial jigsaw puzzle elements into a single playlist so you can see how this can be done for you. We really hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.